Another characteristic of digitalization is that digital products have almost infinite economies of scale. So, so what are economies of scale? Well, traditionally, the cost structure of some kind of product is divided between fixed and, and variable or marginal costs. For example, if you want to produce a car in the industrial age, you have some fixed costs. You have to buy uh, the territory where you want to create your factory. You have to build a house where your factory is in. You have to get some machines and you have to get these fixed cost independently if, if you want to produce one car or many cars. You still have to get it. That's like a fixed cost investment. Then you produce your first car and every time you produce a car, there are also marginal costs. So you need to pay your, your workers. So there's labor costs. Then you need to buy some new rubbers for the tires. Then you need to buy and, and so forth. So these are marginal costs that you have to expend every time you build a new car. These costs might go down over time, and that is called economies of scale. That means the more you produce of them, the cheaper it gets. The sum of all these marginal costs is often referred to as the variable cost. So the marginal cost refers to producing one more car. The variable cost is the sum of all the marginal costs, kind of the area under the curve. So that's how it goes. And scale economies are very important. That's why sometimes you get very big companies, because the more cars you build, also your average fixed cost gets less. If I buy a territory and build a factory only to create one car, it's kind of like a waste. If I produce thousands of cars, it makes sense to expend the money to buy a territory and so forth. So on average, my fixed cost pays off because of these economies of scale. Now, in digital products, the cost structure is very interesting. How much of a digital product, for example, a software or a movie or a song, goes into fixed cost of producing this digital product? And how much goes into marginal or variable costs in reproducing this digital product? Well, it can cost millions of dollars to create a digital movie or a software or a, a song, but to reproduce it, it's just copy-paste. There's not really any marginal or variable cost involved. I have infinite economies of scale. That's why it is so important for many digital content providers to reach a lot of scale. So if you have a video game that costs 300, 400 million dollars to produce, you want to sell it to as many people as possible because then your fixed cost can be gained back. If you just send it to one or two people, it, you don't get your money back. And, and that's why it's so important always to reach scale for digital content provider. And that's why also there is such a big competitive pressure to become the biggest digital content provider because it really pays off. Now, this cost can also be time investment. For example, if you're a spammer, you can only write an email once and then you can send it to as many people as you want. You don't have to rewrite the letter like you would have had if you would have paper and pen. You just have one email, copy paste as often as you want. So that's what is meant by when people say that digital products have infinite economies of scale.